Breaking news. Breaking news. The Libertarian Party of New Hampshire is being hostilely taken over by the pragmatists in the party who are so afraid of the Mises Caucus and the numbers that the Mises Caucus are attracting that the only thing they know how to do is dissolve the current New Hampshire Libertarian Party and take it over without anyone voting on this. I swear to you, I know this sounds crazy. I am not making this up. This is unfolding as we speak. This has been, like, I, like, I'm, I'm literally bringing you breaking news as it is unfolding. I'm not even a journalist. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I do know that I'm talking to all the people in the, in the party, or many of them, that just got kicked out unilaterally by the party chair. And we're receiving constant updates as to what is going on. Okay. So here's what happened. A couple of hours ago, my phone starts buzzing that people in the Mises Caucus in the Libertarian Party in New Hampshire are being removed from ad uh, like admin of the, all the different social media properties of the Facebook account, of the Twitter account, all this stuff. Now, this has been precipitated because the Mises Caucus has been doing some bolder messaging. That's part of the point. They've been trying to get people's attention to talk about different priorities and different beliefs that they have and trying to move the Overton window. So this has been happening and it's really pissed off a lot of the old guard in the Libertarian Party. Now I've explained to you guys, I know a lot of you like Carlin, what do you expect? The Libertarian Party sucks. We told you the Libertarian Party sucks. Well, what you're not understanding is that yes, the current Libertarian Party does suck. I have never said otherwise. They do vehemently, vehemently suck. But the Mises Caucus is not the same as the current Libertarian Party. And the Mises is working to take over the Libertarian Party so that it does not suck anymore. And they've been being successful at it. They're successful in New Hampshire, Nevada, lots of other states. They've had successes with this. I think they've, they've taken over something like 40% of the state parties now are Mises caucus parties. Well, this is freaking a lot of people out and they're starting to play really, really dirty because they know they don't have the numbers. The Mises caucus has the numbers. And so the only thing they have left to do is to play dirty. Well, this was posted from the Libertarian Party New ha of New Hampshire Twitter account, well, now I should say the the shadow party, because the current party, the current people running this Twitter account are they? What they've done is actually create a second Libertarian Party in New Hampshire, and I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it. But let's look at what they posted: changes in the Libertarian Party in New Hampshire. During the last two months, I have watched. This is this is posted by the well now former party chair Jaletta Jarvis, who thinks she's the current party chair, but we'll get into that. During the last two months, I have watched a hostile takeover happen to an organization that was fighting for equality and freedom of every individual in the state. An organization that wanted to see all people treated with respect, to have the liberty to choose freedom. I believe that these same goals we can learn to work together. I confess that I was wrong. I have watched secret plots occurring been, and been shushed about it and advised that I was simply misunderstanding and that non-supportive behavior on my part would not be tolerated. Meanwhile, these same individuals that have made bold public statements about their intention to rid my organization of those who fought to build it over all these years in the state. Their strategy of so-called bold messaging. Anytime you see bold messaging... That's Mises Caucus, okay? Not not proper Mises Caucus. Their strategy of so-called bold messaging is not designed to promote freedom and to educate people on how to peacefully take back the freedoms guaranteed to them in the Constitution. Their strategy is, frankly, designed to discredit the Libertarian Party in the state and our nation. There is a right way to be bold. There is a right way to make demands for freedom. There is a right way to move people to want to fight for their rights. Yes, Jaletta, and the right way is not engaging in a hostile takeover or a coup in your own party. But as humans, we are fallible, and sometimes we don't learn the lessons of history, even our own immediate history. January 6th showed us what can happen when people are all riled up into a frenzy and given little direction. For the last two months, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire has been using the strategy, the strategy of riling up mobs to frenzy, giving them no direction. Jaletta is literally pissed over tweets. This is literally happening over tweets. Over tweets. 
well, the Republican Party, um, hang on. Well, the new members have stated their intention to take us over and then move on to do the same thing in the Republican Party. Well, the Republican Party is my opposition. I am not willing to have this party used to support such a goal. I am not willing to allow this party to turn into a force that takes apart the hard work of thousands of individuals across this country and the candidates who had worked three times as hard as their opponents just to get on the ballot, let alone win their races. These individuals deserve our respect and support, not angry mobs. When I was elected as chair, I was hopeful for the opportunity to grow and diversify the party, to build a core, a strong core of politically motivated individuals ready to write policy proposals, testify against bills that stole the freedom of individuals in New Hampshire, and stand up for individual rights and equality. I was enthused that there was a desire for bold messaging to promote these ideals and large committees of people ready to stand up for the individual. While my desire for these things has not been lessened, neither has the division in the party between those who have the same goals and those who have an alternate agenda. We have always had diverse opinions in the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. This is not new, but this is the first year that this distinction between them was so rigid that individuals cannot see through them as to work towards a common goal. And here we go. The crux of what Gilletta has done. Let me just, let me just give you a preview. Gilletta unilaterally disbanded the executive committee. She unilaterally rewrote the bylaws. She unilaterally kicked out every single libertarian in New Hampshire from the party that they paid dues to and will only let them back in if they sign a loyalty oath to Gilletta. This is a hostile takeover and it's all being supported by the National Libertarian Party. And I'm going to prove it. There are now two groups in New Hampshire. There are now two groups in the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire where there used to be one. One group is that the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire and the other wants to work towards their vision of liberty in a more bold and more bellicose manner. It is not up to me to say which of these strategies is correct. It is my responsibility to lead my party towards the success of the goals of both the state and national Libertarian parties. These two internal groups refuse to work together and so, if either is to succeed, it is time to separate these members who wish to push for open umbrella of the state and national platform by seeking to promote libertarian candidates and fight for individual rights and equality on the state stage are, st are invited to stay with me in the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. Let's just be clear. Let's just be clear. Gilletta Jarvis does not currently control the bank accounts for the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. She has formed a shadow alternate party, and I'm going to prove that to you. Those who wish to push for goals specific to a more independent branch of libertarianism through bold social messaging are welcome to stay with the other members of the previous executive committee. She's just saying that because of tweets, because of tweets she didn't like, she just unilaterally kicked out every libertarian from the party in New Hampshire and is inviting them to go form their own party. Not to mention the executive committee. She dissolved her own damn executive committee so she could appoint stooges that would do her bidding. Fighting for rights of individuals means fighting for your own right to represent yourselves, and this is your opportunity. Start your own party, if you wish, free from the perceived lim limitations of the Libertarian Party. This is your time. Your best chance to seize on this opportunity. You have an amazing capacity to grow your numbers without being burdened by the constant struggle of being affiliated with a party that does not agree with your goals or methods. She's literally telling the Mises Caucus to go form their own party. That's what she's saying. To this end, we have established a new set of bylaws and platform and instituted a new executive committee to work with me in the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. Gilletta Jarvis unilaterally rewrote the party bylaws. Unilaterally rewrote the bylaws. There was no vote. This was all done under the cover of darkness and hoisted upon everyone two hours ago with no vote. To those who wish to rejoin us, previous membership payments will be honored. However, there is a requirement that you sign a new oath and review the interim bylaws and platform and affirm you can agree to abide by them. 
Gillette Jarvis has instituted a goddamn loyalty oath in order to rejoin the party that we already all paid to be members of. And you want to know what that oath is? Here it is right here. It's so Orwellian. It is so Orwellian. I will not advocate or endorse the initiation of force as a means to achieve political or social goals. Gilletta, what did you just do? You engaged in a hostile takeover of the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. You formed a shadow party. You unilaterally rewrote the bylaws. You dissolved the executive committee and appointed your own. And you instituted a loyalty oath. How does any of this... How does any of this square with the non-aggression principle? Listen, man, I know I'm a rather new libertarian. Maybe I just don't understand. Would any libertarian like to explain to me in the comments how a hostile takeover of your own party does not violate the non-aggression principle? I'm just saying. The oath continues. I will advocate for the freedom from oppression. What a fucking SJW. I will advocate for the freedom of oppression and coercion for all New Hampshire residents and affirm that as libertarians, we condemn bigotry as irrational and repugnant. Let's be very clear. Gillette Jarvis does not have the authority to do this. This is a hostile takeover. This is a literal coup d'etat. And she doesn't even have access to the bank accounts. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that in a second. I want to finish this out because I want to show you the National Libertarian Party is condoning this. The Libertarian Party in New Hampshire will still be the nationally recognized Libertarian Party as I was the only unanimously elected official at our last election. Gillette Jarvis was only unanimously, unanimously elected because of the Mises Caucus. That's it. That's the only reason that she was unanimously elected. And now she's just booted all of them out of the party. As evidence, I am including a copy of a letter from the chair of the National Executive Committee of the Libertarian Party attesting to this fact. And this letter, here it is, from Joe Bishop Henchman. This letter confirms that I attest that the party of which you are chair is the LNH's sole qualifying organization in New Hampshire, responsible for day-to-day, -day, blah, 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 blah. The New Hampshire, or the Libertarian National Party is endorsing a coup d'etat. This is real life. My God. All right, but there's additional information I promised you because I promised you to prove that Gilletta currently does not have control of the Libertarian Party bank accounts. So this is Al. Al is kind of pissed at this entire situation and he went on the Libertarian Facebook page of in New Hampshire. This is all public. I'm not doxing anyone. This is all public on the New Hampshire Libertarian Party Facebook page. Al says, please refund me my money, seeing as you have just ruined the LPNH I paid to be a part of. Otherwise, I'll be calling my credit card company and letting them know it's fraud. Thanks. And Gilletta responds, the previous party executive committee, the one she just disbanded, has control of bank accounts and all funds. If they decide not to stay an organization, I would suggest speaking with them regarding future refunds. Gilletta has just admitted that she created a shadow libertarian party. She created a new libertarian party. This is crazy. And Al, De Al justly called her out on it. He said, so what are you saying? You just created a new LPNH that has no bank account, but took the property by the other LPNH away? Is that not theft of property? Sounds like breaking the non-aggression principle to me. Gilletta literally formed an alternate libertarian party in new hampshire and stole all of their social media accounts she stole the social media accounts of the proper libertarian party in new hampshire because again i'm just gonna emphasize it's not been emphasized enough no one voted on this no one voted on this this was a unilateral move by Gilletta jarvis well, the Mises Caucus has responded. They have first responded by changing all of their Twitter account to the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire because this is the actual Libertarian Party in New Hampshire. They have updated their name to Libertarian Party of New Hampshire in Exile. You can follow them at at Mises Caucus NH. And they posted this tweet commenting on the situation. Until the Libertarian National Party restores the accounts unilaterally and illegally stolen from us by ex-chair Gilletta Jarvis, the LPNH Executive and Communications Committee will be using this account. Hashtag LPNHQ.
This is a, this is actually insane. This is so insane. I am doing a video without any makeup on a Saturday. That's how insane this is. So this is literally unfolding as we speak. I'm constantly getting updates. My phone has been going off this entire time. I will update you guys as I get more information. And that's all I have for right this second. But who knows? Like, oh, I should say this one last thing before I go. This is going to be rectified. If they have to, they're going to pursue every avenue they can pursue to rectify this up to and including legal action. So Gillette better get her shit together right quick. I hope Gillette lawyers up because they are and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's all I have. I'll see you soon.